How was uh, your experience at Long Beach Poly? Uh, it, it was probably one of the most memorable of my life. You know, I mean, uh, one of the top high school, the top high school in the country for sports, uh, football. Uh, you know, a lot of greats come out. Uh, I wanted to go there all my life. And uh, the four years there, I wish it was uh, another four years. You know, watching that, uh, watching the show made me think that uh, I wanted to go back to Poly. I just really miss it. And what about going to UCLA? Did you have the same thing there where that was the school you wanted to go to as well? Oh, it, it actually wasn't the school I wanted to go to. I, I actually wanted to go to the University of Miami, but uh, I had a couple issues there, you know, where I couldn't be able to get out there for a trip and things didn't line up right. But, um, you know, I chose UCLA. It was one of the best schools out of the group that I had chosen. Um, and it, it was another thing. It was one of the best four years of my life. The entire experience there, you know, the football program has been down somewhat. Was that a disappointment for you? Um, it it, it kind of was. Um, you know, being at Poly, you know, I was used to win the game. Um, UCLA was like ten and two, I think, the year before I got there, and it was, they had a winning a winning uh, 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 percentage there, so I was ready to go there. You know, Mercedes Lewis and Morris uh, Jones Drew went there, and they were balling. So I was like, I need to go to that school. It reminds me of me here winning at Long Beach Poly when I got there and then work out for good. What do you think happened with the program that led to the drop off? Uh, we, we, we liked a little bit of leadership. Uh, it was a lot of guys there that really wasn't as uh, into football as some other guys were. You know, some people were there just for the ride, and that was unfortunate. But um, we, we just had a down, a down year recruiting, and it kind of domino effect on us. And then now in the NFL with the Redskins, I know they signed you to the active roster towards the end of the season. You picked up a couple of catches there at the end of the year. That's something you're looking to build off of? Oh, yeah. Yeah. Uh, when I first got there, I, had a, I, I think I had a great preseason. Um, everybody else was great. Um, so I was really looking forward to playing. And then it, you know, some things didn't work out right away. Um, it was a little uh, shaky on uh, the roster thing, so they had to put me on the practice squad. But uh, I just took it as a grain of salt and uh, used it as a chance for me to learn. And I learned from veterans, and um, it helped me out. At the end, I was able to showcase my talent, and I impressed the coaches, and uh, I got a bright future ahead of me. Now, when they first drafted you, I know special teams was a big reason why. What did they tell you when they drafted you? Were, you? were they looking at you more receiver, more for special teams, both? Uh, they were looking at me more for special teams. Um, I mean, it was all about kick returner when I got there. And uh, I, I myself uh, knew that I was a good receiver, but because I went to UCLA, we had, uh, you know, the program was down and, and, and upcoming rebuilding. I didn't really have that good of a, a, a career at receiver. You know, I maybe had 450 yards, most I had. And, um, you know, that's really not really productive. But um, I was productive on special teams, uh, which was the, the bulk of my yardage kind of came from, from breaking Marty Jones' record. And, uh, that's all they knew. Uh, when I got there, I was able to showcase my receiver skills, and we just went over there. And I know Brandon Banks did a real good job yeah. on his return game. Did that surprise you? Oh, it didn't surprise me, not at all. Um, you know, when I found out Brandon was there, I had remembered Brandon from uh, the year we played him before. And uh, Brandon was probably the leader in returns in the country, and I remember him. Um, a lot of people doubted him because of his size, but, I mean, you know, if anybody can play football, they're out there playing, they can play. So um, I, I knew what type of player he was when I got there. You know, Willie Parker recently said, comparing the Steelers with the Redskins, that the Redskins was a partying team. And he wasn't with the team during the season. That was just from training camp. Do you have any idea why he would say something like that? Uh, no, I'm not really sure. You know, somebody asked me about that a couple of days ago. Um, you know, I, I heard his quote, you know, what he said. But, I mean, from what I understand, you know, we probably were a partying team before this year. You know, but, um, you know, Coach Shaney got there. And uh, he worked it out, and he instilled a little bit more discipline in the team. You know, I mean, I, I didn't see the partying uh, within the team, you know, during the season. I mean, after the season, yeah, we had fun, but during the season, it was all business. And I know they're talking about John Beck possibly being the starting quarterback. Did you have a chance to work with him? Yeah, I did, uh, the whole season. You know, um, when Beck came in from Baltimore, uh, I worked with him on the practice squad. Uh, you know, he was the third quarterback, so he was mainly throwing me the football. And uh, good guy. You know, real smart, talented quarterback, um, good leadership capabilities. Um, you know, he, he works hard. He can be something for us.
you think he can do well as a starting quarterback? Yeah, I mean, anybody can. You know, as long as he work off, um, you know, the offense isn't that complicated. Um, you know, as, as long as he gets in and work on the playbook and look at us trying to work something out, we can make it happen. You know, there are a lot of problems there with Coach Shanahan and Donovan McNabb and Kyle Shanahan and a lot of stuff going on there. Was it uncomfortable for you being around that? Or did it feel that way, just things playing out in the media the way it did? No, no. Um, a lot of times the media escalates a lot of things. Um, you know, and, and that was kind of like a problem, I guess, because people would say something and then they would twist stuff around in the locker room and it wouldn't be seen the right way. But, I mean, for me, I, I didn't look at it that way. Um, I was looking at it from the inside, and it was just a problem that, you know, teams have all the time. You know, and, um, I wasn't upset with anything and bother me at all. It was just something that we had to deal with. Adversity is something that you got to get used to as a team. Where do you think you fit in for the upcoming season if the lockout ends and the season begins? Now, if the lockout ends, you know, I, I find myself going in there fighting again. You know what I mean? Uh, we dropped the three new receivers. Uh, you know, nothing's given. Uh, so I'm here working hard, you know, trying to make sure I'm in shape so that when I get there, you know, I can hit the ground running. And, uh, you know, I'm ready to compete with these guys. And um, I really want to be on the, uh, be on the Washington Redskins football team. I love D.C., uh, probably the best fans in the country. Um, you know, it, I, I want to make something happen. And what have you been doing with most of your time throughout the lockout? Uh, I've been working out. I've been working out, making sure I catch a bunch of balls, footballs, uh, spring, uh, trying to make sure that my gun is up, trying to maintain my strength, and uh, just all around trying to become a better football player.